For the 16th time ever, Joan C. Edwards Stadium plays host to a ranked Marshall team undefeated and ranked 21st in the latest college football playoff top 25. They lead Conference USA, does FAU in red zone defense, sacks, and pass efficiency defense. And the opening kick is up in the air, and we are underway in Huntington, West Virginia. Rasheen Ali takes the kick and brings it to about the 25-yard line. So we will take a look at the starting quarterback, Grant Wells, the 6'2 redshirt freshman from Charleston, West Virginia. Wells this season, 126 completions on 192 attempts, completing 65 percent of his passes, 16 touchdowns, just four interceptions. He has set the world on fire. More on him later as he takes the snap. Quick throw out to Xavier Gaines, one of the seniors honored pregame. And Gaines is out, and Marshall moves the sticks on their first play. Wells back in shotgun. Two wide receivers, one split out to either side. Has Knox to his left. Wells, four-step drop. Now pressure comes. Rolling, lofts one over the outside, and that's Xavier Gaines making the catch and out, pushed out of bounds inside Rice territory at the 38-yard line. That's a great play by Wells as Rice brings pressure. And Marshall has a couple of tackles out for today. Chamberlain gets to Wells, but he uses the athletic ability, gets downfield, and is, uh, that allows Gaines to get behind the line. Three wide receivers in this formation. Man goes in motion. That's Talit Keaton to the bottom of the formation. And he'll hand off to Knox. Wells will. Knox trying to bounce it back to the inside and does successfully close to the sticks. And we'll see where they spot it. But that should be a first down for Marshall. They might go for it here, Jake. And it looks like they're going to four wide receivers on the field. Trip split out left. Wells will line up in shotgun. Now Wells, three-step drop, fires. Outside, inside the 20, and that catch is made. Looked like Corey Gamage made the catch, but that's not going to be enough, I don't think, to move the chains. That's going to be about a yard shot. If you're going to run that out route, you've got to get up past the chains so you can come back to the football a little bit. Everything about that was run correctly, except he just didn't get far enough upfield. He has time. Gamage is there. Gamage just didn't get deep enough on the route. Running back you right there, Christian McCaffrey, Bryce Love, also was there for a season of Andrew Luck as they hand it off up the middle again. And this time, Marshall's front seven was ready. Yeah, Marshall coming with a run blitz, hitting the A gaps right there. No place to go for Griffin. Marshall offensive coordinator Tim Cramsey, he used the phrase staying on schedule. That's something similar for Rice as well. As Johnson will take the snap, roll out to his right. Going to try to run and brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Looked like Tavante Beckett was in there. Also, Kobe Cumberlander as well. And that will bring up a punting situation for Giovanni Johnson in the Rice out. Yeah, Johnson was looking for his top receiver, Jake Bailey. He was covered up by Nazi Johnson, one-on-one -on -one with his safety. No place to go with the football. And Orgy, the junior from Missouri City, Texas, 35 total tackles on the year, as Wells takes the snap and shotgun, fires over the middle, and that's Willie Johnson. That should be good enough to move the sticks, and it will be by about two yards. First down for the Thundering Herd. Dave Willie Johnson coming off a career-best game against Middle Tennessee. Eight receptions, 137 yards, and two touchdowns. Again, they'll go with the I formation. Johnson under center. Hands off to his man Griffin, and meeting him in the backfield was Darius Hodge. Shot out of a cannon there from that defensive end spot, and he was ready to blow that play up. Yeah, he's coming off the back side. You're pulling the left guard around. He's trying to get down on the tackle, but just coming off the back edge, nobody blocks him. If you're the tackle or play serving that time, you've got to get out, at least get a hand, but you're also having to deal with guys that are coming in and out. So you've been off for three weeks, so those are things you, you have to address. Hand off to Knox from shotgun. Now Knox bounces to the outside, cuts back again, and gets close to the 20-yard line at the 19. Look there at the Marshall offensive line, graded as the sixth best in the nation by pro football focus. 153 combined starts between that bunch up front as Keaton goes in motion. Wells feels the pressure, able to find Knox, and Knox is out across the 30, and that should be enough to convert on third down, and it will be for the Thundering Herd. Safe play call, you bootleg the quarterback to the near side, and they had a man uncovered. 
Rice to come with pressure off the opposite edge. You got the defensive end out there. Nobody blocking him, but Wells recognizes it, sees his man, knocks underneath, and just enough to get the first. Today, two for three on third down conversions. Wells fires out. Gamage able to make the catch with the defender draped all over him. That was Miles McCord, the sophomore from Huntington Beach, California. Gamage says, I don't care, moves the sticks nonetheless. Yeah, just a real simple route. You drive your defender downfield. McCord might have got there a step early, but Gamage comes back to the football, able to make the catch. Again, the, the key to that route, the same as it was in the previous series, you got to get beyond the chains about three, four yards, come back toward the football, put yourself in position, put yourself in between the quarterback and the defender. And you see the stark contrast between plays on back-to-back -back plays as Wells drops back and fires to Keaton, who makes that catch. That should be another first down conversion as well. Learned the game under Bobby Bowden while as a graduate assistant at Florida State. Johnson looking deep. Has a man, and that batted away. Good coverage by Nazi Johnson. Brad Lambert not afraid to leave his defensive backs out there one-on-one. -on -one. And Nazi Johnson talked this week about having good eyes, not getting taken advantage of in the play action. Marshall comes with pressure up the middle, but Johnson stays back on his assignment and nearly had himself an interception there. He's a smarter man than I, but I'll tell you, Jake, the way you're playing right now, you've got Marshall back on its heels a little bit. I'd have gone for it. And Mendez, they'll go with the trick play. Mendez fires one out wide to the left. No flags on that as Mike Bloomgren is livid. He thought there was holding. Well, there was. Because I mean, I mean, Marshall's dropping back into punt coverage out on the outside edge. He had a hold of the gunner going down the far sideline, but... I'll tell you what, I wouldn't have run the fake punt, Jake. I would have lined it up with two tight ends and a fullback and ran the, ran the football. When we look at the replay here, and Dave, it's hard to see from that angle, but I saw what you were talking about. There there was, you could make the argument that there was holding Mike Bloomberg. I, mean, I believe has every right to be upset. I mean, Mc, Jalen McLean sat. He's the blocker out on the punt return team for Marshall. He was tied up with the gunner, expecting the gunner to be going downfield, trying to block him. And lo and behold, they're running a fake punt. So, yeah, Mike Bloomgren has every right to be upset. But, again, in that situation, I like the aggressiveness. I just would have done it a little bit more conventionally. And now they're getting together talking about it. So, I mean, I don't know what you do at this point. You're going to throw the flag you know, five minutes after the fact. It will be a very, very late well, flag. But we'll Bloom see Doc come on, Clue. <laughs> well, Bloomgren did come on. I mean, he was. Yeah. I watched him, and, now, and the flag does come out now. Holiday. I'm coming. <laughs> Pass in the fans. is hot. I think that's safe to say. Holiday is unglued, and you could make the argument rightfully so. That is a very late flag, Dave. Well, if you're going to throw the flag, throw it and be done with it. Don't get together after the coach on the other side complains about it and then throw the flag. I mean, it, it, the rule is what the rule is. Fine, fair enough, but throw the flag when it should have been thrown. Giovanni Johnson and this Rice attack, they're, they're trying to pump the crowd up more as Johnson will pitch it out to Griffin. How will Marshall respond? And that's how they respond. A big stuff in the backfield. Loss of at least three. And it looked to be Abraham Boplan met Griffin first. See how this Marshall defense reacts, Jake. They have needed something to kind of spark them and wake them up a little bit. Well, maybe this break for Rice gets him a little angry. Great job. No place to go out on that edge. Stephen Gilmore, the quarterback, sets the edge out there. Six attempts, 28 yards on the ground. They fake the handoff to him. Nice slant route by Keaton, and Wells able to find him at the first down marker. Twelfth first down of the day. Handoff to Griffin, and he is speared in the backfield by Tavante Beckett. 
I guess if this whole football thing doesn't work out for Beckett, he at least is auditioning for WWE <laughs> with plays like that. Three wide receivers split out to the bottom. Now tight end goes in motion. They hand it off to Griffin. Griffin gets about to the original line of scrimmage and not much more. A good defensive start to the second half for Marshall. That Marshall quickly back to the line. They hand off to Knox again. This time a big gain. Knox gashes Rice into Al's territory across the 50. That's the longest run of the day for Brendan Knox, and it goes for 14. Yeah, I'm just right now, Marshall, you're, you're reeling offensively. Wells has three picks today. Give it to the give it to your guy. Knowledge McDaniel is the second string running back today, but we have not seen McDaniel. Wells will go back to the air. Deep ball to the near side. That's Willie Johnson. Johnson fights for an extra yard. Across the 40-yard line, close to the 45. A nice pitch and catch between Johnson and Wells, and they'll go hurry up offense. Knox picks up the blitzer coming off the left edge, and Johnson just sat back there in that zone, found a soft spot. Wells able to get it to him that time. Knox takes the snap, or Wells, I should say, takes the snap and shotgun. Handoff to Knox, bounces it to the right side of the formation, and he gets to the 50-yard line across the 50. A nice that is the end of the third quarter. run on first down. That will bring us to the end of the third quarter. Grant Wells leads Marshall back out onto the field. Second down and four upcoming to start this fourth quarter. Hand off to Knox, and he gets over the left side to the first down marker. That will move the chains. Another first down for the herd. That's 13 on the day, Dave. Yeah, 13 first downs, but no points. Tall order for Marshall here in this fourth quarter. Got to give it to a big Giovanni Johnson, a big hand today. Shotgun set for Wells again. Three wide receivers. He'll call his own number. Good gain here. Gets another first down. Close to the 30-yard line. Yeah, great job on the read option that time. Got the defense to commit to Knox. Pull it out and run away with it. And, you know, for Wells, he's got to forget the first three quarters of this ball game and just focus on this final 15. Marshall going hurry up again on this drive. They're so accustomed to seeing Brendan Knox put up gaudy numbers on the ground. Four wide receivers on the field for Wells. Throws it high, but hauled in by Talit Keaton. A great grab. And Brendan Knox that time, he picks up the blitzer at the last minute, cut his legs out from under him, and that allowed Wells to deliver that football. Great catch by Keaton. Gone off receiver's hands, and they've fallen right into the Owls' hands, but tough day for the young quarterback. Wells will throw it out to the near side. That's Corey Gamage who fights for extra yardage. Wells will drop back to pass. Good coverage. Throws to Keaton far side, and he hauls it in at the Rice 49-yard line. Three defenders in the area, but when you've got a guy like Talit Keaton, you can count on him to go grab that football. Yeah, Wells was on about his fourth read as Rice is dropping eight. He started right, went all the way back to the other side of the field to find Keaton. Wells and shotgun again. Blitz comes, throws out to the far side to Gamage. Forward progress should give Gamage, well, right about there.